Today on Instagram, we have a special guest, a household name on television and theatre stages. This personal riding buddy of mine needs no formal introduction, but we'll do it anyway. Hi, I'm Lim Yu Bing and I'm a local actor. And yes, I'm Nessa Anwar's personal riding buddy, which is, sounds a bit like, you know, personal trainer, but actually I can't keep up with her. Anyway, uh, in my 51 years, I've had, I think, seven bikes. That's why I'm here. I love to ride. I've ridden in Greece. Uh, I've ridden in France a couple of times uh, up into the, the French Alps. I've ridden in Vietnam, uh, that was a dirt bike tour. Thailand, uh, a number of places in Thailand. Uh, and Malaysia, actually Malaysia, you know, you cannot discount Malaysia. There's so much stuff in there. I, I wouldn't say it's my favourite, but there's so much stuff that I still haven't discovered about Malaysia. Like that time we went to Desaru, right? <laughs> yeah. So she and I went to Desaru. Yeah, and then we left to us at 11am and then we came back at 6pm. Scenic spots with calm waters, spectacular horizons, and even a chill out cafe. All lovely backdrops for all kinds of photography. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk, 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 talk. Where are we riding? We're riding to Yishun Dam. That's my philosophy. Shut up and ride. Yeah, you can keep up or not. Don't make me throw it down. Don't make me throw it down. The name Salita was first mentioned in the 17th century in the Malay Annals or Sejara Melayu. It is believed that as early as the 15th century, Iskandar Shah, then ruler of Singapura, fled to Moa from an invasion using the Salita River. Right now, we can still see it from Yishun Dam. Yishun Dam has been a big part of the Singapore lifestyle, from hosting lively family barbecues, laid-back fishing, and even the old Janal Jati, said to be the last fishing village. Well, I can tell you the biggest difference from this place to the time that I used to come here is the traffic. I mean, this was a dead end in the past, so there was no traffic going through. None of that stuff over in Salita was developed. There were no links. The whole air base was just dead quiet. And people would come here in the middle of the night and blast their car stereo systems. Big vans going boom, boom, boom. And people picnicking here, looking out at the water. We used to ride in here at night, come over to that corner and just sit by the waterside and, you know, look at the birds. Look at that. Look at that. that that's gorgeous. Yeah, and it really still is beautiful down here. There's a man-made reservoir on one end and the Straits of Johor on the other. Yep. Gives rise to beautiful photo opportunities. See for yourself. All we do is hide away. All we do is, all we do is hide away. All we do is chase the day. All we do is, all we do is chase the day. All we do is play it safe. And of course, if you go for a ride, you gotta make a pit stop. We're taking you to a relatively unknown spot in Salita where you can get your coffee fix in between your rides. Saksing 1954 Bicycle Cafe's decor caters exclusively to lovers of cycling and vintage culture. Their menu varies from local, western and even Japanese. Its owner, Mr. Poon Kengju, transformed his love for bicycles into a lucrative dining business, even displaying a few from his collection of vintage bikes inside the cafe. Its remote location in Salita enables you to dine indoors or al fresco facing the panoramic view of airplanes taking off from the runway. Yeah, man, it's fantastic. I've never been here. So that means Instagram brought you to somewhere you've never been before? Yeah, but I want to know how you know about this place. Huh? What did you used to come here and do before? Tell me. Huh? Anyway, judging from the social media posts on Sok Sing, this obscure cafe doesn't have any problems drawing the crowds. Searching for 
Say 